hey are you a traveler do you love traveling in any which way or in any which way whatever type of traveler or a tourist you are this video is a must watch you should not skip it so the point is that how many of you all travel as a responsible citizen i don't know because i do but if you don't this video you need to watch till the end but if you are the ones still you need to watch till the end of this video because we'll be talking about how it is impacting the planet how it is impacting the local culture and the heritage how you can travel responsible because there's less awareness about this topic hey lovelies i'm the author on travel the spirited blogger and thank you so much for staying with me on this channel for more than 100 plus videos without harming the planet uh if uh, you and i would have been traveling uh, uh, for like more than a decade because i'm traveling for more than a decade and a solo traveler and a backpacker back then the things weren't that tough or uh you know one little bit in terms of the planet and uh, the destinations and the local the culture and all that but now it has become a real danger in terms of uh, uh sustainable tourism the deforestation and lot of impact on the climate and the local communities hence this video is a must watch do not skip it if you want to know a little bit what i am talking in between the chapters so you can skip the chapters but i think you should watch it you need to travel responsibly you should have a respect towards the local community but how are you going to do that how can you travel with sustainable um living or how can you actually inculcate sustainable tourism in your life before jumping on how can we do it and how can we bring change bit by bit let me start with some facts and i think they, those facts are really important for you a few thoughts on being mindful of your impact on the world while traveling i've been pledging for not using plastics and being sustainable not littering to any place i'm going and i'm supporting the locals also for like more than 5 6 years now and i'm pretty much successful into it still i am doing and i will be doing it because that will somehow or the other one day will gonna help us to bring change the world economic forum and the environmentalist are promoting and advocating about responsible tourism and taking care of planet since long but are we doing this in an enough uh, parameters if you want to know further stay tuned and learn more about it but if you want to skip it up i can't force you either but i would recommend that you should because travel is something which everyone loves and the tourism industry is blossoming yeah the pandemic was a harsh time but it is so like this millions of travelers you know from all across the world and all if we pledge with these small small bits and pieces and we do our bit towards the planet i think that will make a change uh, in future and save our planet to travel for our generations because i'm sure you are a learner and learning never stops and it should not stop each year almost 1.2 billion people travel abroad making travel and tourism one of the largest industries in the world representing a whopping 10% of the global economy it supplies millions of jobs and benefits countless communities are being helped and supported by it yet when traveling has many positive impacts it can also take a heavy toll on the environment from putting increased strain on fragile ecosystems and culturally significant sites that are deteriorating day by day and they are contributing to the rising of the fossil emissions but that doesn't mean you have to drop your suitcase and cancel all the res reservations and just don't travel no this doesn't mean that way let's see and discuss some of the facts which are eye openers starting from the pandemic while covid has appended the 8 trillion dollars global travel industry the pandemic has also paved the way for tourism and hospitality professionals to reflect and rethink and reshape the sector making it better and ultimately more sustainable and responsible for all the tourists coming from all parts of the world let me quote here what uh, being you know quoted and said uh, by the UN WTO uh, secretary general Sreb Palasfuli uh, uh, ignore me pardon me if i said it wrong he quoted sustainability must no longer be a niche part of tourism but a new norm for everyday part of our sector 
this means an opportunity to build back better and create an industry this is more resilient and aligned with the UN's sustainable development goals all the principles of the sustainable development goals which the UN has UN has decided i'm giving the links in the description go and check and learn and understand them because uh, they are working for like decades and every every support and every bit of yours matter in these sustainable goals the image which you see right now on your screen shows the sustainable tourism and its sectors so sustainable tourism is a huge part under the ocean and then we have responsible tourism we have alternative tourism then there's eco tourism environmentally friendly tourism minimum impact tourism and soft tourism now imagine only responsible tourism is not the only one part when you travel guys so be you are a tourist or a traveler a backpacker a mountaineer in any which form you are traveling understand these aspects of the sustainable tourism should be catered and you need to do your bit next up is some more factors and facts and figures from the statistica i'm quoting and giving the link in the description so that you can understand that from where it is coming according to the statistica report what are the effects of growing global tourism it's hard to measure the cumulative effect you know what tourism industry has seen going through and the climate crisis it is bringing it incorporates many industries including lodging transport attractions travel companies and many more however in 2019 there was a report from the united nations world tourism organization which is unwto stated that tourism related transport alone was a significant contributor to the climate change with the 5% of global carbon dioxide emissions being attributable to this guys global 5% of co2 emissions what impact it is having to the air quality the atmosphere till the stratosphere it's unimaginable it needs to stop it's a whooping number alarm for responsible travel and sustainable tourism with this growth allows for the opportunities for the job creation we understand that but the socio economic development it also leads to the issues like global rise in the greenhouse gas emissions overcrowding the places and loss of socio cultural authenticity in the host communities one of the major concerns is social media the impact of social media on the activities and the uh, mindset of how people are traveling is you mongers it's you mongers in across the world so not in any particular country across the world and we have seen during the pandemic the overcrowded places we have seen uh, the destinations filled uh, with the uh, to their fullest you know and they're crammed and there's no place for the vehicles to go for the people to just walk by on the road or the pedestrians we don't really get to understand this impact because it's a chain okay and this chain one by one one by one impact on a huge level on a scale of like entire planet is getting impacted it is a serious matter people take it in fun in social media i see a lot of people just traveling for instagram reels just traveling for photographs see i am not offending anyone here uh, there are good intentions also i am a traveler myself i can't defy or stop or force anyone to do that the request is to travel responsibly and to actually respect the locals and support the locals where you are doing so we're going to see some points how you can do it you know what a lot of people you know uh, tell me and ask me and there are people so the trollers are always there you know the trollers and the people who doesn't doesn't match up to your mindset are always there so they're like you know no like if if we are traveling for that and we are uh, for us like uh, making an instagram reel is important and first uh, or clicking a picture first is important irrespective of what kind of plastic you're using or where are you and are you actually littering out there no 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 or you're harming the natural site or the unesco heritage site etc etc so people actually keep on uh, commenting and they do i mean that's their choice you're welcome whole heartedly i appreciate okay so how can we avoid how you and i together can actually make a difference and make tourism a sustainable tourism and travel responsibly first and foremost is for the social media influencers the marketers the tourism agencies the operators and people who are into the tourism sector content creators and everyone who uses social media for spreading their own work or whatever i feel everyone shall at least respect this notion and promote and create awareness about responsible tourism every bit of the information travels super fast in this digital world 
If you do so, the others will follow. If you travel responsibly, the word will be out. My request to all the travel con creators and content creators is please just don't travel for Instagram or vlogging. Do it but mindfully in a way that you are not harming a pinch of this place. Else please don't travel. Second is you can find an eco lodging, eco friendly lodging, you know. So seek out a eco conscious hotels and accommodations that support sustainable development and have minimal impact on the surroundings and the environment. Especially, you can look for the places to stay that use renewable energy. So, uh, if I talk about India, um, in Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh and in southern India also, there is there are places where uh, they use solar panels and solar lights, you know, to generate uh, electricity and to heat your water because uh, in like minus 20s and 30s every uh, temperature everything gets freezed so try to take a place where uh, they use renewable energy sources also also seek out that uh, they have effective waste management systems recycle or uh, you know a farmland or they are built using the renewable materials the next is the modes of travel now modes of travel as uh, initially in the video we have discussed about the air travel, the uh, CO2 emissions uh, and the pollution, the air quality etc. So modes of travel uh, uh, also um, is a crucial part of uh, how you can actually manage and travel responsibly. You can travel more sustainably you know uh, with a thoughtful uh, ways to travel or modes of travel. So see if there are environmentally friendly ways to reach to your destination. If you must have to fly, you can reduce your carbon footprint by selecting the direct flights and by choosing a more energy efficient aircraft. That's the best you can do right now in this situation. This is the current scenario you can do until we all are having uh, a great uh, environmental and climate solutions from all the nations across the world. Also, travelers can uh, offset their uh, travel emissions by purchasing reputable accredited carbon credits from an off-site uh, platforms like my climate i'm giving the link in the description below of my climate you can use these platforms there are many other in the market and uh, you can actually they're reputed actually so you can buy and you can sell and you can take your carbon credits and this way you can actually help uh, um, environment uh, and the fossil fuels and the emissions and you can travel happily with a great memory my every instagram reel my almost every post on instagram and my blogs and my website say you need to support local communities. So the next how you can travel sustainable and responsibly is by supporting local communities. Try to visit regions where local people are empowered to manage their land and natural resources such as wildlife, parks, marine protected areas. Meaning that tourism dollars directly benefit the local economy and can influence a positive change. The next is plastics. Be smart with them. Be aware with them. Don't be gentle. Just be harsh on them. So make sure what and how much quantity of plastic you're using. Each year, more than 8 million tons of plastics wind up in our oceans, where they disrupt delicate ecosystems and endanger marine wildlife. Much of this harmful waste comes from single-use plastics, like throw-away water bottles, take-out packaging, and plastic shopping bags not recovered by waste management. You can minimize this amount, guys, of plastic waste and introduce when you travel by carrying a reuse water bottle, opting for locally filtered water wherever it is possible, bringing your own tote bags for shopping. These are few things which you can actually do to avoid the use of plastic and use single use of plastic which is actually not uh, biodegradable and it's not being crunched and it's literally going to the oceans and harming the marine life. Few other things which you can do is carry a shopping bag as I mentioned with you so you don't have to make use uh, of a plastic bag. You can opt to sit down meals instead of takeaways to avoid using single use containers. While visiting a local site you can choose walking or biking tours instead of bus or a motorcycle tours. You can also reuse your plastic water bottle. Enjoy these sustainable activities to help the planet and your travel will become responsible and sustainable. Eventually, you will be contributing to the planet and to the travel tourism industry also.
Moreover, as you explore more you places, you can opt for recreational activities that don't pollute or use energy, like such as kayaking, biking, or hiking. Not only with you, you can create a zero carbon emissions. You'll likely discover unique sites and experiences that are secluded and unseen, and they are away from the beaten path. So that's an experience which you're gonna take if you take this path. Next is pick your products wisely. What I mean out here is that whatever products you carry for your uh, traveling, the travel bags, the travel totes, the toiletries, pick them wisely and mindfully. How? Some common sunscreens and soaps contain harmful chemicals that can be absorbed by ocean's fragile coral reef system and contribute to coral bleaching. Now, before you dive in, make sure that you use reef friendly products such as biodegradable or mineral based sunscreens, shampoo and soaps or you can think about switching to the productive clothing like uh, rash guards or wetsuits which dermatologists say they are safe and they're effective as sunscreens for the skin care and hair care also you can use plant-based products so you can use uh, other sunscreens and lotions that are plant-based that are vegan that are cruelty free they don't have any parabens or silicones. Uh, if you want to know more about uh, all these products, which certainly I use and all, uh, here's a card you can check or I'm giving the link in the description so you can check what all kind of products uh, can be used. This is an interesting one. Look but don't touch. What it is all about. No matter where you go, you should never touch, feed, taunt or eat, tease or play with any wild animals you encounter which could spell trouble for both you and the animal. Also keep away from tourist attractions. Where you're allowed, just, just uh, use the hands and all or certain experiences with animals, don't mess with them because they feel exploited and then anyways are getting in extinct and exploited because of the huge number of deforestation and wildfires. A uh, lot of animals and species have been extincted or on the verge of extinct. Please stop this. So just look don't touch for all those shopping spree people for women and men and boys and girls shopping is the key when you travel right but for me also because I collect travel treasures wherever I go so how to shop you can shop carefully yet you can travel responsibly and you can help the local communities how so for example if you are tempted by an antique carved ivory tusk or a black coral bracelet think twice just because an item is for sale doesn't mean it's legal to purchase. Some products such as snake wine, tortoise, shell accessories, shells or coral jewellery, ivory or furs, they are made from protective plants or endangered species that can be legal to import and export department which you and I or kind of travellers like us won't understand at a go. They can be also the products of poaching or mislabeled to entice the tourist. So before you spend be mindful, be sure to ask questions, okay? what is the item made from, from where do you get it, is it original, from which part of place you have got this, wood, teak or a fragrance, what is the process, how did you make, you know, etc, etc. You can put, depending on the product, you can actually put and be mindful to ask some questions like this, okay? For a list of items on this, on what to avoid, check out the WWF's Bios Beware Guide. I am giving the link in the description of this guide from WWF. You go and check for the entire list uh, of the items so that you have a little idea when you travel next. Support local souvenir shops also. So eat where locals eat or eat where locals are cooking or consider trying a new local dish wherever you go every day. This isn't only a great way to add to the economy of the area or the local communities where uh, the villagers are living and uh, uh, taking care of their uh, you know, bread and butter from the local tourism, but also it's one of the best ways to learn about the culture, the traditions, the language they use, how they speak, how they live. This definitely would add up to a great content for your social media platforms, isn't it? This part is my favorite part supporting the community and contributing to the local people where you are staying or you are uh, eating with them or you are into their hotel or a homestay or a house or a hostel or etc something like that that is something which is close to my heart and i think every traveler should try to find out the place wherein like you can contribute to the community um, so that they feel belonged to us how you can do it there are some activities which you can indulge in for the development efforts. 
you can assist the local women in achieving better access to social and economic equality. You can participate in efforts that add to children's education. You can teach them any language or any course or any subject, you know, for some time and you can travel as well. Getting involved in the recycling projects water and environmental conservation projects is one of the best way how you can contribute when you travel it won't harm your traveling itinerary trust me guys it's just a matter of few hours and fetching some time to contribute that would really help in the last start from home i must say i have always encouraged all this uh, by starting these efforts from your home if you start from your home you're picking up small small efforts every day it will lead to a better tomorrow i personally have picked up quite a few for uh, some five six years now um, my daughter and i are very adamant and super stubborn on these now and i'm inculcating these habits in the family i think you guys should start as well what all you can do let's check them out you need to switch off uh, and unplug the appliances when you aren't using them the first which we always need to teach to our kids you all should start uh, doing it from today are creating compost from your organic waste and recycling your glass paper and plastic switch to online billing these living practices on day to day basis can at least lower down your environmental impact while you are still at home wrapping up this video i would really like to request to all of you that please please talk to your friends and families and talk to your inner circle about uh traveling uh, sustainably and responsibly not for the social media all the time please um, i myself as a blogger and a traveler i understand the importance of pictures i understand the importance of uh, you know showing it good but then showing it in a right way is a different matter showing it in an appropriate manner is a different matter talk to people talk to your friends share as much as you can because the more you share it spreads it's kind of a chain reaction How about creating your own travel score and a travel tribe of sustainable and eco tourism and getting into some volunteer work You have certain takeaways as I promised in the video so this is your takeaway This is not a sponsored video but I have taken this from greendestinations.org These destinations have already been joined the community through the Green Destinations Award and Certification program What you're able to see right now are the destinations that have already joined the community of the Green Destination Award and Certification program You can explore this interactive map online also the link is in the description and find out about each destination these destinations have been awarded and certified as a green destinations that are environmentally safe and working super hard and the community at the community level and the tourist level um, that uh, are not harming environment so you can check out these destinations and you can travel next to those places what you see here is uh, the link is in the description from from the gbi.co.uk and my climate you can go calculate and offset your own em emissions you can work with them you can volunteer you can try for internship and you can reduce the carbon emissions for a better climate protection these are the takeaways which i think would definitely help you when you are making up your mind to travel responsibly and contribute to the travel and tourism industry by are uh, actually helping to a community level and a broader level i have few dear and special mentions in this video uh people youtubers bloggers travelers authors who are working wonderfully well in this area but they're less noticed i would recommend you all to just go and check uh, these people and these uh, vloggers handles i am naming them and giving the link in the description they are doing wonderful job in creating awareness my agenda and my uh, intention is the same and i hope it will work so the people you should watch for and to follow from the your travel with olivia uh, these two are really doing great job in uh, spreading the word out for uh, the uh, you know the amount of plastics the use of plastics and uh, the littering which is actually uh, occurring to the travel destinations the next is the planet d then you have wonder da and the next is the gabriel the traveler he is amazing he's like he's great he has been hitchhiking and traveling for all his life and he has seen almost all part of the world the kind of information which gabriel wanderda the planet d your travels with olivia these people are bringing up uh, uh, to their uh, you know uh, vlogs and blogs in a matter and how they are spreading the awareness is incredible i thank you and i appreciate that you guys allowed me to do this for my video 
Last but not the least, my friend Pradeep Sangwan from Healing Himalayas. He is incredibly doing a marvelous and meticulous job of cleaning Himalayas. Himalayan range is spread across four or five countries, and he and his team is being building that uh, safe zone of no litter in the Himalayas, and they're working in and out uh, every time, every day night every part of the time and i thank you pradeep sangwan and all these people that uh, i am able to talk about you and uh, i hope this message is out and clear to everyone who travel next travel for yourself travel for experience travel for community then travel for social media make a world which is fair enough make a world which is real if you have got anything from this video, if this video has got any value and learning to you, you need to subscribe the channel, you need to hit the bell button so that next what I post, you watch for it and you stay tuned for this. If you want to work with me, if you want to collaborate or see what all I do, the links are in the description. You can collaborate uh, on Fiverr account plus on my social media. You can email me directly. The email is given in the description. I'll see you in the next video because this channel is all about learning wisdom for you and for me because learning never stops and it should not. Until I see you next time, be happy and keep smiling. Stay tuned. Namaste.